Ready. It is the end of the rainy season and hot summer has just set in. In the lush fields of the agriculturally rich district of Narawal, Kishwar is busy cutting fodder, preparing for another busy workday. In a downward spiral after a difficult divorce, she found new purpose when she decided to work as a woman livestock worker. Like Razia, Kishwar has also turned her life around with her new skill, which has given her the power to not just earn an income, but to chart and steer the course of her own life. Under its Gender Support Initiative, UNDP set up this project with Nestle Pakistan and other government and private sector partners in September 2006. In just two short years, this initiative has met with a fair level of success, making primary animal health care widespread and recognized. And just like the national public health model of the lady health worker, it presents a model for rural livestock workers in the future. However, the single most important success marker for this project has been the creation of income generating opportunities and market linkages for rural women. Uh, basically, we are committed to integrate rural development with the market mechanism, where UNDP uh, specializes in development and uh, uh, companies like us, uh, we specialize in, uh, in uh, market mechanism and uh, uh, developing capacities. So this is a very ideal bond. A major enabling factor in mobilizing and convincing community members about the effectiveness of the training has been these women themselves and their passion and determination to do something more with their lives. Initially it was difficult to break eyes and motivate these women to participate. But with the passion and commitment of the team we were able to do so. Today, I see a positive change and economically empowered women in the rural Punjab, and that is our motivation. The curriculum, testing and certification methodology for the Women Livestock Training Program has been specially designed by the University of Veterinary and Animal Sciences in Lahore. This ensures that the teaching methodology and content is not just relevant and effective but also a reflection of world-class standards in curative and preventive veterinary sciences. So I think it's definitely helping uh, the rural women, empowering the rural women in many ways because if they are financially independent, then they are not uh, subjugated to any type of diet. The female master trainers of the program are themselves certified vets who receive further training at the University of Veterinary Sciences to master training skills in adult education. This enables them to work with women livestock workers in the field as master trainers. These master trainers with social mobilizers make an effective team to work in the field. The teamwork and collaboration is further strengthened through frequent dialogue and discussion amongst project staff for mutual learning and sharing of lessons. The training of women livestock workers includes both theoretical study and practical work. After completion, each participant is awarded a certificate along with free starter field medical kit and basic medicines to help her begin her work and generate money. The curricula of uh, 
the master trainers and the ladies livestock workers is developed in the university the two batches of the master trainers they have been trained uh, up till now from this university and uh, total i think about 20 master trainers they have uh, qualified up till now and uh, these master trainers uh, then uh, 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 teach uh, the curricula which is developed by the university uh, to the lady livestock workers and at the end of the training the university examines these lady livestock workers and then uh, give them the certificate uh, for uh, doing this job. The project aims to train 4,000 rural women in villages of central and northern Punjab. Implementation in Sindh province with other UN partners is also progressing. As the social taboos crumble in the face of positive examples, there is wider acceptance among rural communities of the concept of women livestock workers. Abdul Haq, the proud father of the Basum and the Rannum, is happy to get both his daughters trained as livestock workers. For him, a skill is the best dowry that a father can give to his daughters. बाप जो सबसे बेहतर जेस दे दे सकता है बेटी को वो है ये ट्रेनिंग और तलीम तो वो मैंने जहाँ तक हो सका इनको दिलवाई है तो मेरा मकसद ये था कि ये आगे जब भी इनको जरूरत पड़े तो ये अपने पांव पर खड़ी हो सके जिंदगी में कार चढ़ाओ आते रहते हैं तो पाना और जो तलीम है वो काम आती है आ Shantinagar is a small community located in Mia Channu, district Khanewal. Here the camaraderie of three friends, Jane, Sarafin and Shamim, has created a collaborative small business model. One of them is working as livestock worker, another as milk collection agent and third as animal feed seller through joint sharing of the clinic space. They've been able to earn a decent income to help their individual families. This project is of great importance in, the, in that it will impact positively on the economic development of women in the rural areas here in Pakistan. Our partnership with UNDP and the government of Pakistan is a good example of how key stakeholders can come together to create value for the communities in which we operate. With growing population and the increasing scarcity of veterinary services, the farming communities need local people who are trained to prevent and treat the most common animal diseases right in their own villages. Considering the age-old bonding of our rural women with livestock, it is only fitting that they are the ones to receive and implement this training. It is an initiative which works for everyone's benefit and completes the circle of positive change. And as this initiative takes wings and spreads across the country, it heralds the end of a long and difficult journey and the beginning of a bigger positive change. For more than 2,000 women in rural Pakistan, this change has already begun.